We've made it to Osborne House. We have the, the happiest Nana in the world. I can't believe it. She's managed to find a parasol, and not just any old parasol. This is actually Queen Victoria's original. They had got them in black, but I thought this would be better, don't you? I'm still alive, yeah. <laughs> Here. Yeah, so as we were walking in, I need to say, perhaps I'll buy one here now, and jokingly, I think. Well, definitely jokingly, because I laughed at it and said, there's no way you're going to get one here. And there she is. We weren't expecting to actually need a parasol in the UK. We weren't expecting temperatures, anything like what we have, um, what we've had. And today, it's going to be another glorious day with temperatures up very close to 30 degrees so the parasol is going to do its job today i've got my hat plenty of sun cream on and she's even bought a fan as well so i think we're going to be fine so we're just uh, walking along uh the walkway the driveway which is going to take us up to osborne house and we have been here before a few years ago and the grounds are absolutely beautiful uh, but do notice that uh, everywhere is a bit yellow and brown because uh, we've had no rain. So we've walked down uh, the path. We're just going to have a, a tour of Osborne House. I need to wear her parasol. I don't think she's going to need it inside. But we've just seen some wonderful magnolia trees here as well. We enter Osborne House. We're greeted by His Majesty King Edward the Seventh. This is the audience ante room. Some pottery, you have to have a look at the base to see where they were made. <laughs> Fine bone china, Thomas Good. Mistake. Everything has to be put just right. It's for grand piano. You can't play the piano. Thank you. 
we saw this weather's languages and such like that. So a lot of the books are here, for example, sort of different languages and such. The billiard room. Well, I climb all the way to the top of the building. Here, everything's in a little bit in miniature. So this is the nursery. So everything's quite small here. So here we can see the cots and small beds. And there where the animals went in two by two. Lion giraffe and the kangaroo. quarters now and uh, when they wanted a little bit of privacy they had a, a gate to close keep the children out and down below we've got the, um, the royal bath spinning wheel that is sitting room where Queen Victoria worked on estate papers with Prince Albert and the role of her private and personal secretary. A musical connection there. Now into the 
the Royal Pantry. So, get the fuck out of here. The horn room, it's a sitting room for visitors. Nearly all the furniture is made from deer antler. Gosh. It's legs on the chair. Victoria actually had a, a lift installed here. Beautiful ornate ceiling up there, and then the dining table. Wow. to as the Durba room. So we now leave Osborne House and uh, we come out into the gardens. On this side, we've got the what would be really majestic lawns, but unfortunately, the, the dry spell of weather that we've had has meant that they've dropped and watered, and so they're all yellowy. But uh, just come around the corner here, and we've got the more ornamental gardens with some lovely statues in here as well. And I'm sure Anita's enjoying only her parasol. But uh, all the beautiful flowers that we, we can see here making the fantastic colours. So really a very interesting house. I'm sorry I couldn't do much commentary as I we were walking around, but uh, it's just not quite the place to do that. I don't know that much about it, but certainly lots of interesting things to see. What a lovely, lovely parasol we've got there. Yeah. And we just walk to the end here, we get the, the views that uh, Victoria and Albert would, would have from our Osborne Palace, looking over the Solent uh, down to the sea and right over to Portsmouth. even better view, for me anyway, is Osborne House itself, a wonderful family home for the Queen Victoria and Prince Albert. It's had other uses over the years and uh, so when, Queen, when Queen Victoria no longer came here, she died, she was laid and stayed here two days and one of the last pictures I showed 
comes a painting of her uh, lying on her bed. So no water in the fountain today. Don't know if there's a hosepipe ban here in uh, the Isle of Wight. It certainly is in parts of Hampshire. Again, we've got a, a floral display. Can make it out. There's a Union Jack down there. It's the four corners of the Union Jack. I'll try and get it from a different angle. Mm, can't quite see the Union Jack here. It's just not quite wide enough. Um, but you can see the uh, parade down there, which goes down towards the, the sea. Um, Prince Albert was a great. Uh, believer in seawater swimming and so this would have been a great place uh, for him to go down there. He uh, chose the spot here in the Isle of Wight um, because of its proximity to the sea and uh, down at the bottom there we'll find there's a, a private beach and uh, Queen Victoria too was encouraged to go swimming in the sea. is in charge. We're just underneath the terrace where we're taking the photographs and uh, this is called uh, the Loggia, Loggia and it's been suffering a little bit of damp and so they've uh, tried to correct that from above so stop any more water seeping through and then when it's dried out all of this area is for restoration. The Loggia, Loggia, affords a place to overlook this beautiful fountain here. No water today, and uh, that then has beyond it the walk that goes down to the sea. we get further away we get even more majestic views of the house. So just walk down a few steps and uh, as I walk away you've got the, the lions guarding the steps. I'm now walking towards the, the sea and uh, we come now to another ornamental Pond. Some beautiful lilies in there. Dragonflies as well. Dragonflies. And surrounded, of course, by beautiful gardens. And this is now the walkway that takes us down towards the sea. And Albert's favourite garden. And just one more shot of the uh, Osborne House as we walk down the, the walkway here. Really magnificent building. Well, we've completed our walk down, and uh, this is just getting close to the beach. But Unfortunately we missed Punch and Judy, that was the 11.30, the next one's 1.30 and it's time is just after midday. Uh, but uh, this is where Prince Albert would have come, and I imagine he would have come down just about every morning for a dip in the sea. And uh, together with, of course, uh, Queen Victoria. And we've just spoken to some people uh, who know the area and they're telling us this has got some of the cleanest waters around this area. It's actually a protected zone, the, the water around this area. So you see the yachts, um, boats are all a little bit further off shore because they're not allowed to 
uh, come in any closer so they are protecting the uh, the marine environment that's down there the sea grasses a lovely little beach here If we'd have come a little bit earlier, this is where we could have watched the uh, Royal Punch and Judy. Don't think we're going to be here for the, uh, the next performance. So when Queen Victoria came down, uh, she would uh, get changed in this uh, carriage and then be gently wheeled down to the sea. At least that's the same the story goes. So this is the beach. Tide is quite high today, so not much of the beach exposed. Quite a few people in the sea enjoying the nice clean waters here and the warm sunshine that we've got at the moment. Some picnic tables, there's a cafe down here, and uh, toilets. We're going to walk along now and go to the Swiss cottage. Just back up into the woods. And we're just going to go along Rhododendron Walk. Uh, the Royal Children enjoyed playing outdoors and used this path to reach the beach from the Swiss cottage, which is just up here. Prince Halbert, their papa, planted some of the trees in these woods. Now many different animals live here. You might be lucky enough to see some. May not be a living one, but it's a nice carving of a great spotted woodpecker. We still have a way to go up the hill. Another magnificent hedgehog carving. Barn owl. Nice and cool in the shade here. Back into the sun though in a bit. So, another animal we could see here. The brown long-eared bat. Here we've got one of the red squirrels that you really don't see too many of these days inundated with the grey carry on up and here we are we've arrived now at the, the swiss cottage So we enter by the rear, which will be, you know, we can enter this side. We're just inside the Swiss cottage. Set of plates, hope they were made in stone contract. Just a range for cooking. There's like the range over there for cooking. Yeah, I want Potential Christmas tree. Up on the top floor now. Nicely set out.
Lisa just brought a fan, but it's uh, not quite as ornate as that one. Stone. The royal children held a ceremony to dedicate the foundation stone of the Sweet Swiss Cottage. The museum here of lots of wonderful artefacts. Various stones. Today, but these are made from ivory. collection of ammonites and fossils. Some well, we're in fossil country here of course. So lots of fossils in this part. For the children to play. And so here we've got a, a mock-up of a barracks with little cannons. There's even a moat. And I can imagine this would be a great place for them to play. Sounds like Prince Albert was a great father. Big pine cones on the tree here. So, garden areas here where they are growing various different fruits and vegetables. All a bit sad, really, because of the lack of rain that we've got at the moment. Each of the royal children had their own plot so that uh, they were responsible for to grow the different things and now uh, this is what they look like. And obviously when the children were working they needed a uh, wheelbarrow so to carry all their things around so these are the personalised wheelbarrows of the different princes and princesses. It is quite a trek around Osborne House. I'm sure Queen Victoria didn't uh, walk, and uh, you don't have to walk either. There is a, I've seen one yet, but there are little, I don't know, vehicles. I haven't seen one, so I don't know what it's like. A little buzz, perhaps. And uh, you, one of the spots where you catch it by the Swiss cottage, all down by the beach, and then obviously somewhere up near to the house. But we're, we're trying to get our steps up. Slowly but surely, so we're we're walking. So the aforementioned vehicle, which I wasn't quite sure what it looked like, whether it was a buzz or a or some other sort of vehicle. Well, here it comes.
very quiet so it could well be electric does the job though oh, we're just on our walk looking back uh, over the water there over the Solent and uh, what do we have in the distance well that's Leon the Solent that's really where we've just come from back towards the house now coming from a different angle photo time So really beautiful walk. Um, might be a bit easier if it wasn't quite so warm. And um, some beautiful trees and vegetation. The one that's caught all our eyes is one on this side, which is a cedar tree with multiple multiple branches coming from the base. But quite a beauty there. That's the road over there which we went down to the beach on. We've had a, we've had a, a great walk around uh, Osborne House, down to the beach and then to the Swiss cottage and we've now more or less finished what we're going to be doing today here at Osborne House but very well worth a visit. And well worth getting my parasol, can't believe it. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye. And we've got a little postscript to the video. This is the walled gardens. Which you know, we didn't uh, think we were going to be coming to. Yes, there is a big long greenhouse. We did come here before. Mm -hmm. so. Not sure. Beautiful colours down here. And this, of course, will be in an element. We've got some plants to remind us of home. A lot of suffering here with the lack of watering now or intense heat that we've got. So perhaps not as pretty as it could be. Quite challenging time really for the gardeners. Trying to keep it look as beautiful as they possibly can. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. Here yeah, we've got uh, <clears throat> lots and lots of wildflowers. Really pretty, that is. I like that. Yeah, it looks as though someone's been experimenting with their topiary. We've come into the greenhouse. Uh, it's not too bad in here. I guess the plants are a little bit more 
looked after. We've got the, uh, the bird of paradise here that we have in our garden at home. And some of the perhaps more exotic plants. Mm, yes, the lemon smelling fragrance, beautiful. sunshine and they're getting well watered the plants are doing really well in this part this is something that's purple you see a lot of this in the sure I need to tell you exactly what it is well, I think that's the end of this postscript <laughs> and uh, Probably the end of Os Osborne our house for us today. Thanks very much for watching, and uh, again, we'll look forward to seeing you in our next video. Well, this is the postscript that goes to the postscript, and uh, I don't know, I'm a bit of a fan of red post boxes. You don't see many of these anymore, but this one you won't see very many at all because this is a VR. Most of the ones you now see in the UK are ER, Elizabeth Regina, this is Victoria Regina.